we really have to be careful with the people who are new to serving God. Now, they may believe that they have certain facts right, and they may be trying to correct you on certain things that they are wrong about. Now, the thing that you can do, you can tell them the right thing, but if they are the type that won't listen, all you can do is just walk away. Because what you don't want to do, you don't want to argue with anyone. Even if a person is not new to God, don't argue with them. Because that is only going to cause more confusion and more problems. So what I am trying to say, when you meet a new person to God that may not know as much things about God as things are right now, what you should do is try to help that person as much as possible, as much as they allow. But don't do anything that is going to make them go back to sin. Does that make any sense? So this means, even if they are correcting you on something that they are wrong about, try to correct them back. If they won't receive it, don't say anything else. Just let them talk. Because some people still have pride within them. Some people aren't humble. I am not saying that they are always going to be a bad person. No, they are just starting out in God. So we don't want to make it more difficult for them. So try to make things more easier for them. What you should do and what came to me, we should pray for them. But you don't want to sit there and go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. When you start to see that they are not willing to listen, just apologize, say, hey, I am sorry, I did not mean to offend you, blah, blah, blah. And if they want to continue to just go on the same subject on and on and on, just don't say anything or walk away. Because if you think about it, we all kind of struggled with pride. We all were not humble as well. Living for God is a learning process and we should not just like, we should really not be willing to cast off a person so easily. Does that make any sense? Now, in some cases, the way that some people act, you may have to separate from them in some cases, but the best thing to do is to pray for these people, especially when they are fighting against pride, when they are not humble. We need to pray for them because if our words won't reach them, what else can we do? <laughs> we have to pray to God then. Well, we should always pray to God anyway, but especially when our words won't reach them, we need to pray to God for them because, hey, honestly, we all need prayer. So keep this in mind. Don't be ready to fight with a person when you know that they are wrong. Have grace upon them. Let them speak even when you know they are dead wrong. They may have a point here and there, but let them speak. You know, 
because with a person with pride, if you go against what they say, all hell is going to break loose, pretty much. They are not going to like it. And even when you say, let's disagree or agree to disagree, they are not going to like that. They want to win. <laughs> that is pride right there. Which, like I said, we all went through that stage at one point of time, I guess. I know I had pride back in the past. I don't think I have it now. God forgive me if I have any pride. So really keep this in mind. We need to help those who are new to serving God, not make it more difficult. So prayer is necessary. God bless.